Well, hello, boys and girls. How are you? I have been flying around, and those lovely people from the trials committee asked if I would read you a story. First, I have to sanitize my hands because, you know, I've been out there. I don't want to get anybody sick. Okay, and being that I'm by myself, except for my friend way back over there, I could take off my mask. Is it important that you do that too? Hi, I've missed you all. I hope you had a good year. I've been staying home a lot, so guess what I did? I went shopping and I bought a new hat. How do you like it? Isn't it gorgeous? It sure is. Okay, so I came here today because the wonderful people at the Trails Committee asked if I would please read some more stories. So here we go. And I will start with the old spider. Here we go. Okay. Here we are. There was an old mummy who swallowed a spider. Written by Jennifer Ward, she did the words and illustrated by Steve Gray, he drew all these great pictures. Here we are. So this one we're gonna sing. And if you remember the words, I hope you'll join me. And as we go through the book, it might get easier for you to sing along. Okay. There was an old mummy who swallowed a spider. I don't know why he swallowed a spider. Open wider. There was an old mummy who swallowed a rat. Just like that, down went the rat. He swallowed the rat to chase the spider. I don't know why he swallowed a spider. Open wider. There was an old mummy who swallowed a crow from beak to toe. He swallowed that crow. He swallowed the crow to poke the rat. He swallowed the rat to chase a spider. I don't know why he swallowed a spider. Open wider. There was an old mummy. There he is here. Who swallowed a bone. It made him moan to swallow a bone. He swallowed the bone right after the crow. He swallowed the crow to poke the rat. He swallowed the rat to chase a spider. I don't know why he swallowed a spider. Open wider. There was an old mummy who swallowed some brew. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. His belly grew as he swallowed the brew. You'll find that happens when you get older, too. He swallowed the brew to splash the bone. He swallowed the bone right after the crow. He swallowed the crow to poke the rat. He swallowed the rat to chase the spider. I don't know why he swallowed a spider. Open wider. There was an old mummy who swallowed a witch. I hope it wasn't one of my relatives. She made him twitch. That cackling witch. <laughs> he swallowed the witch to stir the brew. He swallowed the brew to splash the bone. He swallowed the bone right after the crow. He swallowed the crow to poke the rat. He swallowed the rat to chase a spider. I don't know why he swallowed a spider. Open wider. There was an old mummy. Who swallowed a ghost? He loved it the most when he swallowed that spooky ghost. He swallowed the ghost to scare the witch. He swallowed the witch to stir the brew. He swallowed the brew to splash the bone. He swallowed the bone right after the crow. He swallowed the crow to poke the rat. He swallowed the rat to chase the spider. I don't know why he swallowed a spider. Open wider. There was an old mummy, this story is true. You better look out or he'll swallow you too. Boo! 
the end. Oh my goodness. That was a good one. Don't you love that one? I love stories that just keep going and going. So really quick, I'm gonna do the five little pumpkins while I'm looking for my little book. Get your fingers ready. Okay. There are five little pumpkins sitting on a bed gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, oh boy, that sounds like fun. Then, whoo, went the wind and out went the lights and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Okay, this is called The Big Pumpkin by Erica Silverman. She wrote the words and Stephen Schindler drew the pictures. This is a great book. I love this book. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy it with you. Here we go. Once there was a witch who wanted to make some pumpkin pie. So she planted a pumpkin seed. She weeded and watered and after a while a sprout broke through and then a pumpkin grew. And it grew and it grew and then it grew some more. Soon Halloween was just hours away. The witch thought about pumpkin pie and bent down to take her pumpkin off the vine. Well, she pulled and she tugged and she pulled. First she pulled hard and then she pulled harder. But that pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the witch. Then, just then, along came a ghost. Big pumpkin, said the ghost. It's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine, said the witch, and Halloween is just hours away. And she kicked that pumpkin. Hmm, I am bigger than you and stronger too, boasted the ghost. Let me try. Hmm, said the witch. But she thought about pumpkin pie and she stepped aside. Well, would you like to see the picture? The witches get carried away with herself. There you go. See? It's always nice to help your friends if you can. Always do the next right thing. The ghost bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, he pulled and he tugged and he pulled. First, he pulled hard. Then he pulled harder. But that pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the ghost. Just then, along came a vampire. Big pumpkin, said the vampire. It's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine, said the witch. And Halloween is just hours away. And she kicked that pumpkin. I am bigger than both of you and stronger too, boasted the vampire. Let me try. Hmm, said the witch. Hmm, said the ghost. What do you think happened? Oh yeah, they thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. The vampire bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, he pulled and he tugged and he pulled. First he pulled hard and then he pulled harder, but that pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the vampire. Hmm, just then along came a mummy. Big pumpkin, said the mummy. It's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine and Halloween is just hours away, said the witch. And she kicked that pumpkin. <sighs> I am bigger than all of you and stronger too, boasted the mummy. Let me try. Hmm, said the witch. Hmm, said the ghost. Hmm, said the vampire. But they all thought about pumpkin pie and, well, they stepped aside. Well, the mummy bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. She pulled and she tugged and she pulled. First she pulled hard, then she pulled harder. But that pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the mummy. They're really trying hard. It's so good to keep trying when you can't do something the first time. Just then, along came a bat. Big pumpkin, said the bat. <laughs> the witch didn't say a word. She just rolled her eyes. 
looked at the ghost and rolled her eyes. The ghost looked at the vampire. The vampire looked at the mummy. They all looked at the little bat and they started to laugh. <laughs> that is not nice, that's kind of rude. Huh, I may not be big and I may not be strong, said the bat, but I do have an idea. And the bat told them what to do. Hmm, said the witch. Hmm, said the ghost. Hmm, said the vampire. Hmm, said the mummy. Oh, but they thought about pumpkin pie and they bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Ready, set, pull, called the bat. The bat pulled the mummy, the mummy pulled the vampire, the vampire pulled the ghost, the ghost pulled the witch, and the witch pulled the pumpkin. Who was pulling the vampire? Oh, the mummy was. Well, they pulled, and they tugged, and they pulled. First, they pulled hard, then they pulled harder. Why? Snap! Off came the pumpkin. Drack, said the witch. Whoosh! And it flew, and it flew, and it oh, thud! It landed on top of the hill, and thump, bump, thump, bump, thump, bump, it bounced all the way down to the witch's house. And when it got to her door, that pumpkin just sat. Woohoo! Hooray for the bat, shouted the witch, and she hurried inside to make pumpkin pie. She must have a magic way to make it pretty quick from a fresh pumpkin, that's all I can say. Mmm, said the ghost. Have some more, said the witch. Couldn't eat another bite, said the vampire. Fun party, said the mummy. Time to go, said the bat. Drat, said the witch, as she watched them all leave. Then she went right out and planted another pumpkin seed. The end. Okay, boys and girls, I think I have time for just one more story. Where is it? Oh, wait a second, hold on. Let me dab my nose really quick. Yeah, dab, dab, dab. Oh, and now that I've done that, you know what I, woo there goes the hat again. And it's not even windy right now. Hmm. Let's see, now that I've done all that, I have to sanitize my hands again because that's what you do when you touch your face or your nose or your mouth. You gotta make everything healthy for everybody. We're all gonna take care of each other. We're all gonna be okay. All right, here we go. This is called The 13 Nights of Halloween by Guy Vazifnovich. Isn't that a great name? I love it. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna sing this one. Let me get my voice ready. <clears throat> me, 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 moo, 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 ah! <laughs> I love singing. Okay, here we go. We're getting there. Aha. On the first night of Halloween, my mother gave to me, now was my mummy, a bright shining skeleton key. On the second night of Halloween, my mommy gave to me a two-headed snake and a bright shining skeleton key. On the third night of Halloween, my mommy gave to me three baseball bats, a two-headed snake and a bright shining skeleton key. On the fourth night of Halloween, my mommy gave to me four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright shining skeleton key. On the fifth night of Halloween, my mommy gave to me five singing skulls. I love them. Four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright shining skeleton key. On the sixth night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me six corpses caroling, five singing skulls, four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright shining skeleton key. On the seventh night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me seven goblins gobbling, six corpses caroling, five 
singing skulls. Four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright shining skeleton key. On the eighth night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me eight marching mutants, seven goblins calling, six corpses caroling, five singing skulls, four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright shining skeleton key. On the ninth night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me nine werewolves waiting, eight marching mutants, seven goblins gobbling, six corpses caroling, five singing skulls, four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright shining skeleton key. On the tenth night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me ten demons dancing, nine werewolves waiting, eight marching mutants, seven goblins gobbling, six corpses caroling, five singing skulls, four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright shiny skeleton key. On the eleventh night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me eleven witches waiting, ten demons dancing, nine werewolves waiting, whoops, the witches were witching, seven goblins gobbling, six corpses caroling, five singing skulls, four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright shining skeleton key. On the twelfth night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me twelve ghosts a-ghosting, eleven witches witching, ten demons dancing, nine werewolves waiting, eight marching mutants, seven goblins gobbling, six corpses caroling, five singing skulls, four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright shining skeleton key. On the thirteenth night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me thirteen thirsty vampires, twelve ghosts are ghosting, eleven witches witching, ten demons dancing, nine werewolves waiting, eight marching mutants, seven goblins gobbling, six corpses caroling, five singing skulls, four Icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright shining skeleton key. The end. Okay, boys and girls, that was our stories. It's time for me to get my mask on, wipe down everything I touched, and go home and start my cauldron for some witch's brew. I missed you all, but I'm so happy we got to get together for a little visit. Please be safe and take care of each other and always do the next right thing. The witch loves you all. Good night.